The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. It's Alex Jones. This hour is brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex is where you find the specials. You can also call them toll free 866-229-0927. They are the best horrible foods company out there. Non-GMO, organic, wide selection, a lot of great specials going. The system wants you dependent. The first thing we've all got to do is have water filtration and high-quality storable foods. And they've got you covered at MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. And they're patriots just like us. So check out MyPatriotSupply.com. Now, before I go back to Joel Skousen, it is absolutely essential for everyone to realize that we are listener-supported. And when you buy a Molon Labe Come and Take It t-shirt, or you buy a Camouflage Infowars.com ball cap, Made in America, you are supporting a hardcore patriot, libertarian, constitutionalist organization that promotes basic Americana ideas of due process, the family, men are men, women are women, the whole nine yards. Infowarsstore.com. You can find our great supplements that take natural herbs and things to block the estrogen mimickers like Super Mel Vitality. It's got my friends and family just raving. You've heard the rave reviews come in. We've got that 15% off into next week. You've got the Survival Shield, truly nascent iodine, proprietary, turns blue on paper, not black. It's real iodine, real nascent, 
does so much to purify your body. Look how much weight I've lost on it. Just does so much for our thyroids that have been bombarded. Naturally boosts your thyroid. As I was told a year ago by many folks, and I went to doctors. I was told by Joel, actually. And then I went to medical doctors and others. And, uh, and I talked to pharmacist Ben Fuchs. He said, you need real nascent nice iodine, but it's hard to find. Well, I finally found it, bought the company out, put it out to you, the one place that has it. The company still is able to put it out, but it's double the price, half the size. That's why I said we have double the strength, half the size. Uh, I mean, I mean double the strength, you know, double the size. I guess it would just be double the size. But you think say double the strength of the leading competitor. It is double the size, so it's double the strength. I guess that's an accurate statement. The point is, is that we have that exclusive. And so we have that available at InfoWarsLife.com. We've got the Survival Shield, the Fluoride Shield, and the Super Male Vitality. And speaking of males, we have John Wayne on the cover of the new March issue that just came in. You can buy it in bulk at cost. Uh, so you can hand out to friends and family as low as a dollar a piece, big glossy color magazine. And half the magazine is about chemicals, biologicals, radiologicals to basically drug the population to make us very, very easy to control in the globalist own words. So a great thing to give people so they understand why there's a war on men. And when we finish up with Georgia and then go to phone calls, I want to ask, uh, I never asked Joel his view on this, see if he agrees with me or if he sees that message out there, what's, what's behind that. But uh, going back to Joel Skousen, uh, Joel, uh, so, so what is the larger, let's spend 10 minutes then go to calls. On the three power blocks, undoubtedly the globalists in their own documents say that is the power blocks. Uh, you're very accurate in that research. So what are the power blocks up to? What does this Ukraine thing mean? When will Russia be ready for the strike? Will they strike us with China? And go, but start off with Georgia, because from when I looked at, that was a real attack. What was that about? Well, that was. That was the West uh, in combination with Israel, because, uh, you know, what the West does to have plausible deniability about directly giving military arms to something to exacerbate the Russian uh, and former Soviet state situation. They use Israel. Israel, a lot of Americans don't realize that they use Israel to, to send a lot of military technology to China, which is going to be our number one enemy someday, uh, even more, you know, greater than Russia. And uh, people would be incensed if they knew that uh, Israel had a green light to transfer technology to China. But they also did it to Abkhazia and South Ossetia. These are the two um, semi-autonomous regions of Georgia that wanted to defect and become independent. And, of course, the West normally does, you know, like to encourage independence. Uh, but really, they knew that Russia wasn't going to let, uh, let that happen. And they did that to simply tweak Russia. Russia did, in fact, have to use military power to come in because of the fact that um, they had mil uh, Israeli advisors in there. They, uh, it looked to them like they were really trying to use military force to break away. This is entirely different than what happened in the Ukraine. Remember, the opposition has no military forces, none whatsoever, maybe of only a handful of hunting rifles. There's no way that they could have done a coup, and that's why Russia has no reason to come in and to do a military, uh, you know, invasion to retake Ukraine. And, so you're and, saying just like Arab Spring, the West knows a rebellion's coming, Russia knows it's coming, so they pre-trigger it so they can then control it, discredit it later. And even worse, the prime minister today is saying he's accusing Russia of trying to invade Ukraine based upon the same phony information that I just uh, uh, told your audience about in Crimea. This is not Russian troops coming in from outside Crimea. These are Russian troops already in Crimea, Crimea by prior agreement with Ukraine. They're simply shuffling some forces around to make sure that all the military bases are protected. Now, I'm not defending Russia. But they're tweaking the nose of the West, and the Ukrainian, new Ukrainian government is tweaking the nose of, uh, of Russia. But this is all political theater. Nothing is going to happen in a major military way. This is just the onset of continual conflict. And, and getting back to the bigger picture here, it's my estimation, based upon what I've studied about Russian rearmament and China uh, rearmament, or, or actual armament, they aren't rearming, but engaged in massive uh, armament, especially of missile forces, they still aren't going to be ready until at least 2020. And even though they're ready, that doesn't mean that there's going to be a strike in 2020. It's going to be sometime in the next decade, not before. 
Uh, now, as you get closer to the point when they're ready, if they see an opportunity, it's possible that they could strike earlier than that. So I'm not trying to say that there's a definitive time that anyone, I mean, we're talking about three different multiple conspiracies here. There's no way anyone can say this is going to happen on a certain date. But we can tell when, by their own statements, they feel like they're going to be ready with their newest weapon systems. And everything out of the Russian system and the Chinese talks about post-2020 in terms of being ready with new aircraft carriers, with new submarines, with their new missile systems. And all the while, of course, the U.S. is disarming. We haven't built a, a new missile in 20 years, and we're shooting off what M, uh, Minuteman three missiles we have and not replacing them. I mean, it's an incredible uh, suicidal mission of the West to try to set the stage. And what, what they have to do, remember, they have to induce Russia and China to strike. As strong as they are getting, they still have, especially Russia, has a lot of decrepit systems, a lot of older systems. Um, they've got quantity. They don't have a lot of quality except in their newest systems, and they're very low in quantity of those things. But the globalists continue to have to disarm to induce them to strike. And the, the big picture I want to put out is, and people don't understand why is it the globalists would want to bring on a nuclear strike onto America. And it's because you can't get Americans to give up essential freedoms, national sovereignty, and yield to a global government unless the U.S. military gets taken down. If they let the U.S. military get taken down in a preemptive nuclear strike, then they can come out of their bunkers, and our leaders are building huge underground bunkers because they know this strike is coming. If they come out of their bunkers and say, oh, the Russians and Chinese deceived us, we didn't know this was going to happen. But our only salvation now is to join together with NATO and other forces and form a new world government to prosecute this war, and literally everyone will lay down and say, save us, do whatever it takes. We don't care about sovereignty, just do what it takes. That's why this is going to happen. But they do have secret weapon systems. I believe they have space-based weapon systems that are going to be used to stop any further strikes while the West regroups and pulls out a lot of secret military weapons that they've been developing, not to defend us with, but to prosecute this war afterwards. I'm projecting that Russia will be defeated eventually in that war because the West will cut a deal with China to betray Russia and turn on its rear, and Russia can't win. And here's the advantage for China in that. He gets to eliminate the other third leg of the conspiracy for the New World Order. And then it's only China versus the West. And then the West wants that. They want a reinvigorated China. They'll use, just like we invigorated Russia during World War II by giving them all that aid and lend-lease, we'll do the same with, with China. Because the, the West wanted the Cold War, they wanted this great enemy because it would justify so much more militarization. And the globalists will want an enemy, a Cold War enemy after World War III to justify keeping all of the militarized troops of the world government. And by the way, these same elites start up World War I and World War II, and in so many of their writings, they say they need something bigger than a regional war, Rand Corporation and others have said in the last three years, they need a World War III to get the Anglo-American world government in place. So, I mean, And to keep it militarized, Alex, to keep it militarized, they need a war big enough that they've got an enemy on the other side. You can't win it all. That's why they sabotaged and didn't let us win against Russia. In fact, we let Russia... Sure, that's why they didn't let Patton go in and, and, and beat that's Stalin right. or MacArthur because they wanted to keep him there. That's right. So we're going to have, after World War III a powerful world government with a global military and a global taxation system, a new currency. Remember, you can't have a collapse of the dollar in a new currency unless you have a world government to manage it. They're certainly not going to let, the, if the dollar collapsed, they wouldn't let the Fed reconstitute a new currency. And the Fed isn't going to let control of world finance. That's why I keep saying there's sure. not going to be sure. an economic collapse until this war comes. And that gives the powers to be cover. It's not their fault then if the economy collapses, because war did it. Oh, it's Not clear. Notice they staged 9-11 right as the dot-com went under. Exactly. I mean, they're always pulling stuff so they don't get the blame. Now, I want to go to phone calls, but let me be more domestic here. The constant attack on men, the constant attack on women in traditional roles, the attack on children, the feminization, all of this, what is the goal behind that? I mean, I've, I've got my views on it. I don't think I've ever asked you your views, Joel Skousen, about the war on men. 
because it is really kicking into high gear right now. Well, this goes back to what we've talked about before, that at, at the bottom, this is a satanic conspiracy. He's giving direction 